all right so i've been drifting in this other course for quite some time you know and it's not really that long maybe a year or so almost about a year but there's been i've been through a lot of uh drift packs and uh, single drift car downloads and honestly it's been uh it's been fun with these cars but there's just some some like certain element missing you know i tried out uh the death wish garage car pack world drift tour and you know so on all these other packs and it's just like something about them was just missing you know they, they were good packs but when it came to maintaining a longer drift where i had to pop that in that bad boy into third gear i just couldn't you know there was some something wrong so i came to the conclusion that it could be the horsepower you know i have nothing wrong with low horsepower cars but they just like felt underpowered you know when you're taking those big turns that's why i only played little maps like the normal drift map you get in a set of corsa and obviously the drift uh, playground map really good maps those are my go-to maps when i do drifting playground got nice mix between very tight drifts and long drifts just enough for my cars you know from these certain drift packs to hit them these low horsepower cars under 400 horsepower maybe 350 at the most but they're all second gear and there are a ton of other maps i want to drift on that i just can't really hit you know third gear on my cars just feel very underpowered and when i'm in third gear i'm already like you know going too fast to you know pop my car in a skid and third gear is just too long to like you know break your you know what was grip you know get them wheels spinning now i know people do this but i don't know how they do it so that's why i don't do it i'm just not that good like other people like c toretto and all those other guys because they've they've they're hitting third gear drifts on these 300 horsepower cars flawlessly i don't know how they do it um i really tried lo a lot more clutch kick a lot more power you know throttle and stuff didn't really work out for me but after searching the web for a while i finally found a drift pack that i can rely on i can hit third gear drift and sometimes fourth gear drift and it's absolutely phenomenal and they're also not too fast there are high horsepower drift cars but they're just too much like 800 900 I can't really deal with that. They build up speed too much. It's, you know, I can't really go on those nice drift roads or those nice maps where there's some curves, slow curves, you know, because uh, I'm just building too much speed and I can't really maintain a slower speed in those cars. They have too much power. And when I try to do some low throttle, I'm not breaking the, the grip. You know, I'm not getting my wheel spinning. But with this drift pack, man, you, they provide you some really nice cars. They're between like 500, 600 horsepower range. Oh man, it's it's perfect. And this drift pack is the Coro Coros Kuroka car pack. I don't really know how to pronounce the Siroko. Whatever. It's this car pack. It's absolutely phenomenal. I recommend you guys download it. This is my favorite car pack ever. And there might be other car packs out there, but this is the one that I know of that has a horsepower cars I'm looking for. I can hit, you know, smaller curves or shorter curves. You know or tighter whatever word it is i don't really know you can hit those curves real smoothly as well as higher speed curves you know on like mount akia and stuff other maps like that where the curves are far longer and stretched out and less curvy you can hit them boys you pop a bad boy into third gear and you can get your wheel spinning you have enough horsepower to break grip and get those wheels spinning and this has been the most phenomenal car pack i've ever drifted in this car pack got perfect cars the throttle response is absolutely stunning car models are perfect and it's just beautiful it's gorgeous when i just step on that throttle i get my bad boy i get my rear end out just like a sh when i get that thing out you know it just the, the rear end just pops out right there it just pops out and then i let my uh, you know force feedback i just let go of my wheel throw it for that counter stand i catch it oh it's perfect this horsepower is perfect is just what i'm looking for i don't have to apply an insane amount of throttle i can feather it you know and if i really need to put throttle on i can do it on the longer curves it's just perfect you know easy to maintain unlike the high horsepower cars very easy it performs like a lower horsepower car but just a little bit more power so you can go faster but you can still control that speed it's honestly the most phenomenal drift pack i ever drifted with and it's going to be in the description down below and it's just like who my experience with it has been just mind boggling bro i swear these these drift packs or this drift pack man is phenomenal i've i've been searching for something like this for a while and it's just great man you guys can go download this for yourself and try it out i really love it you know 
um, especially for me, I'm not very experienced. I only have a year of a uh, set of course of drifting experience, you know. So having higher horsepower builds really, really like helps me kick it in those like longer curves and stuff. It's just, oh boy, it's phenomenal. Like I just, it's so, it's indescribable. You just got to download it, hop on yourself and check it out, obviously. Oh man, it's just, ooh, man. Mwah. Is god damn you know it's perfect no but finally found a drift pack you know i'm gonna be uploading more set of courses videos as well which is gonna be pretty hype um you know because forza is i can't really drift too much in forza you know and i really do want to do drifting so a set of courses the spot set of courses got like the best cars best you know physics honestly other than bmg but bmg is insanely difficult i'm just that's just way above my skill level and expertise so i'm just gonna stick with the set of corsa if you guys do want to see more set of corsa content i'll be posting that on my channel you can literally subscribe it's this big massive red button you can click it for free you know you can sub up to that you know like up the video if you like this and you know sorry to cut it short but i just just wanted to share this experience with you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video peace